I am putting myself through something so sick and twisted today that it wouldn't be allowed as punishment in prison. And I need you to understand that this sacrifice is all for you. It's all for this YouTube channel. And I can't believe that this would happen to me. And I feel like I truly deserve a Nobel Peace Prize in some way, shape, or form. You know, I just don't understand why I wouldn't be honored in some way. This is an important step forward in me facing my fear, in me becoming invincible, unkillable. I'm making a new save file, obviously, because I'm not divorcing my wife. I would never do that, and I'm not about to become a sinner, okay? This itself is a sin. She's the love of my life. I dyed my hair purple. I didn't tell you guys, but I decided I wanted to bask in the beautiful color, and also I was out of money and out of any other color of dye, so, you know, it's fine. How close can I get it? That's pretty close. It's like a lavender. It's a periwinkle. I cannot believe I'm dolling myself up for disappointment. I am simply setting myself up to be horribly, horribly depressed for three weeks. And you know what? I've been horribly, horribly depressed my whole life. Never like this. What should I do the farm name? Should I just name it something? I don't want to put too much effort into this because I'm scared of what I have to do. I don't want to do this. I don't want to live like this. But you know what? Nobody on the space station wanted to piss in a bag, but they had to trudge forward so that they could see the moon. And you know what? I'm gonna see the moon. Let's go with moon farm. You know what? Why not? Because I am a pioneer of the next frontier. Favorite thing... I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. I have never broken my promise to her in all of the time that I have played Stardew Valley, and it's really pissing me off that I'm doing it now. I don't want to subject a poor animal to any of this. Like, I'm scared. I don't feel like that's okay, but whatever, it's fine. And then, what do we want to do? Standard farm. I'm not going to be doing a lot of farming, unfortunately. I wish I was. I wish to God I was shoveling. Take a deep breath with me, okay? God damn it. There he is. There he is. Look at that bed. That is a ping pong table. I am about to surf off of him. I am about to climb on top of him and do a strip club dance. That is a table. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh god. Thank you. Thank you, grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I was crushed the moment I sat down to film this. I have been in pieces. I have been scattered on the floor like glass and ash. I'm tired. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Yeah. What is he doing with his hands? What is that? He frightens me in such a way that I cannot explain it. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. Goodbye. I didn't want to see him die. I won't lie to you. I'm not in the mood for that right now. Can he leave me alone? Like, I'm already dead. I've already been suffering. This animation is crazy, by the way. Look at them down there. My god. Who are these people? I want to know their stories. That is simply Woody from Toy Story, and he's about to get shot. He's about to die. Look at me in there. I kind of serve in the corporate setting. I won't lie to you. I kind of look hot. I have to get used to this. Dear Salem, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Moon Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. I am about to destroy it, and I hope that you'll be able to forgive me for this. I hope that you'll be able to love me still through all of my faults and through all of my difficulties, because I'm really gonna need it. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? My god, the amount of people I have to deal with right now. I don't want to talk to Lewis either, I'll be honest with you. Could punch him square in the face, could take him right down. I feel like my Stardew character is taller than him. I know it's not, but I have to take him down. I have to like jump on his back spider monkey style and take him out with a tie. You know, take a tie, go around his neck, yank it back, break it. I am done. I'm done. This is a beautiful scene, by the way. This is gorgeous. I'm not paying any attention to it because I'm mad. Moon Farm, my beloved. Why did I choose such a cute name? I'm kind of pissed at myself now. Moon Farm is so cute. That's adorable. You know, that's a little Animal Crossing Celeste type island, and I don't want to do that to her name, to her beautiful little eyes. No, thank you. Hello, you must be Salem. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Hi. Hey, how are you? You know, it's just been a while since I've seen you. And the thing is, I really think that, like, how have you and Demetrius been? Just be honest with me. How have you been? Because, I don't know, the last time I saw you, you just didn't seem all that happy. And I don't know, we could go out for coffee. We could talk about it. You know, nothing else. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to make any plans. But if you want to go talk about your relationship for a little bit, I'm fine. I'm here to listen. I'm a good listener. I like your hair. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. He was planting bombs. He was planting explosives in my home. He wants me to trip on that one little wire that I think is a spider web because I love spiders. I'll kneel down and I'll pick it up and then boom. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. I'll follow you anywhere. I want her so bad. It's not even funny. I need her. This is Moon Farm. 
Yeah, it sure is. That was me. That was me. That's so me. I'm so me, actually. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I'm not dedicated to anything. I'm dedicated to leaving. I want to get out. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Louis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Come in my house. <laughs> Come in my house, let's talk. You can help me fix it up, you wanna help me? You're so strong and you have such nice builder arms. I think it would be really cool if you helped me out, you know? I could pay you, I'll get some money at some point. Or you could just do it for charity work, I don't know. It could be a time, it could be an afternoon. Don't listen to her, Salem. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. And I will. Oh God, I will. Ew. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I can't do this anymore. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks, Louis. Thanks. I'm really gonna need it. I'm gonna need some emotional support here. Do you guys have a therapist? So the unfortunate reality of this is that I'm not really gonna be farming. I'm not really gonna be doing much of anything. I'm gonna make enough each week to, um, <laughs> pay for a gift. And that's all. That's all I'm doing. That's all I have the rights to do, and I'm not happy about it. I'm not even gonna get any animals. I'm not even playing this game, really. I refuse to let this be a whole save file. I refuse to put my entire pussy into this, okay? I don't think so. Leave me alone, please. Let's clear this out, though. I am gonna plant my parsnips because that's just moral. That's the right thing to do, and I think I'll get sucked down to hell instantly if I don't, so I have to work on it. You know, I have to be a farmhand a little bit, farm bitch, and I have to make my parsnips grow, and then I have to go do the deed. Oh. Have you ever heard the fable of the girl with the green ribbon, Jenny? You know that one? You ever heard that? I wish I was Jenny so that when I got married to this man, when I got married to the man of my nightmares, I could just take my ribbon off and boom, my head is rolling down like a bowling ball strike right through his collection of little antique medical figures. If that gives you a hint who it is, it, yeah. I'm not telling you yet. If you can't guess, you know you can't guess, but um, I think you can. If you are a hater, that's totally fine. If you're a lover, that's totally fine. If you're a hater of Haley, uh, get off my channel. Leave me alone. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling Homeland. Nobody is gonna get past me. You are a vile individual. You're a vile individual and I can't stand you. If you love this guy, Fine, fine. You know what? Do that, but don't hate on Haley. Everybody hates on Haley for no goddamn reason, okay? She is everything to me. I'm still gonna have to talk to her. I am. I cannot walk into Pelican Town. I cannot get my ass into Pelican Town and leave her and never talk to her. So I'm gonna do that first. Because you know what? I deserve a little treat. I do. I need her to spit in my face real quick, okay? Marnie, please leave me alone. I can give her a gift. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not gonna marry her, okay? I can give her a gift. That's okay. Is she gonna come out? There she is, the love of my life. I'm gonna sit and wait. No, I'm not. I guess I have to do this. I guess I have to. If anybody catches me going through these goddamn trash cans, I am brawling, okay? I am going down with the rest of you. I am leaving. I can't do this anymore. Okay, hee hee, sorry, I'm back. Hi. For me, thank you. Do you understand? Do you see this? Do you see her? Oh, you're that new farmer. Oh, you're that new farmer or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. <laughs> Nothing to laugh about anymore. Nothing. I'm gonna be serious for the rest of this video. I'm not gonna make a single joke, okay? I'm done. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Look at this. Look how dingy this is, by the way. Only one sink. One sink at the forefront. There is not a sink in the patient's room. This is totally unsanitary, and I am going to get tetanus from something, and I'm gonna die, and he's gonna be the one who has to take care of me when I'm dying, and the last thing I'll see will be him. Hello, Harvey. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. I find my own work fully rewarding the second I started because I don't hate myself. First of all, I do hate myself, but that's not relevant. I think of my work as the most valuable thing. Um, if people didn't eat, if people didn't get farm things, they would actually die. So you would have nobody to treat. So I have to feed the entire town and you just cure them from what? Polio? What diseases? Who's getting sick around here? I've never seen a soul be sick. Maybe George, but I could just blow him over and then you wouldn't have a patient anymore. You wouldn't. You would really think that my least favorite person in Pelican Town would be Alice 
Felix, and you know what? He's close. I can understand why people get to him. It's kind of the same thing with Haley, where it's like, you have to earn it. You have to earn the affection. You have to get past the exterior. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. Okay. Harvey, first of all, fuck doctors. Listen, you got a PhD, now you know everything. Great, fantastic. I don't know shit. I woke up today and I didn't know anything and I learned it all immediately. I learned everything I had ever known in the next 20 minutes after I woke up. So that's a minus instantly, that's a negative. Second of all, he's annoying. Third of all, I'm gay, but that doesn't even matter here. Like, I don't care if I was in need of fucking Brian. I wouldn't like this man. I wouldn't enjoy his presence. It would not matter. Give me a coffee. Oh, that's like all of my money. I have to forage, I have to like forage a in order to afford two gifts for him. This is awful. I have to learn his dialogue. I don't want to have those memories in my brain. I don't want to be able to recall it because like if I get into a saw trap or something, right, and they hook me up and they put that mask thing on me and they're like, hey, we have a lie detector here for you. Do you know Harvey's dialogue? I'm gonna have to say yes. I'm gonna have to say I do know Harvey's dialogue and that's really scary. Look at her taking pictures. Do you know how much this hurts me? Do you know how upset I am? I hate it here actually. I think I'm gonna go cry in my bed. I think I'm gonna go cry and sob in my bed because I have to marry this man. I finally understand what a princess feels like, you know? Oh, you're set to marry in the morrow. That's me. Let's go give this to him. I have been like on TikTok for the past few days, like catching up with some lore. I haven't been on TikTok. I have been getting fed TikToks, okay? I don't go on the app because I'm weird and I'm a freak and you know what? Have you ever seen me without this stupid hat? No. Where did he go? Where could this man possibly be? Where could he possibly be going off to? What kind of previous engagements could he possibly have? Is he in the saloon? Where did he go? Where could Harvey be? I have fallen into the pit of this wood burning woman. You know the one? I think it's custom wood burning or something. Have you heard of her? And I don't know anything about her. I just started seeing her come up. Like I have no idea who she is as a person. I have seen only a few TikToks here. Where is he? I'm confused. Do I have to look up his goddamn schedule on the wikipedia on the wiki do i really have to do i have to do that that's sick that's unusual i don't want to do that no i can't drink this even though i would love a good old-fashioned cup of coffee i would love to shake and have anxiety for like at least an hour okay i would love to do it but i can't right now i have a job i have something to do i don't know if she is like a terrible person she could be but what i do know is she is committed to the bit so well that i kind of admire her i kind of admire it because you know what i couldn't do that i couldn't do that especially on live streams that's the best part because she doesn't edit any of her shit it's just like live streams constantly and that is so funny to me she could be the worst person on earth i've only seen like 10 videos don't know have no idea but it haunts me that she exists a chewing stick wow you think harvey's gonna like that or do you think he's gonna tell me that it'll splinter my teeth if you think this is gonna be a series where i like slowly warm up to him and i enjoy his presence at the end and i'm like well i don't actually hate him first of all i am way too stubborn for that i could completely change my mind and i would never admit it okay i would never do it because you know what that's not me i'm not real like that i will lie to myself i will lie to anybody all right i don't care where is this man i have to give him this coffee i have to get some work in today i have to do this all right, we have to get towards our goal because if there's anything that I am, it is goal oriented. Sam is like pretty okay. I have no feelings towards Sam. You know, a couple of my friends have married Sam and he's fine. He's great, you know, good for him. I don't really care. But the thing is with Sam is that he bores me a little bit. Where? Fine, is he in his fucking little room? Is that it? Do I have to wait outside his room? Do I have to go on his beck and call at all times, really? He wants a little spouse. He's gonna wait on him all the time. What? He closes at 3 p.m.? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Let me look up his stupid schedule. I hate it here. I hate this game. Oh, there he is. Fine. Thank you for saving me the trouble. That's really a great thing to do. It's for me. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. I googled you, buddy. Do you want to comment on your stint in jail for murdering three people and burying them in your soup of medical supplies? Your soup of isopropyl alcohol? Do you want to comment on that? Do you want to tell me why I read that on the news? Maybe not. Leah, hello. She's probably like my second choice other than Emily. I love Emily. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It is. It's beautiful. I wish I could enjoy it. I wish I was having fun. I wish I was having a good time on this game right now, but I'm not, so. What else can I forage? I'm not gonna spend too much time on farming, like I said, so I'm kind of relying on foraging to get enough money for the 600 G a week. Can the world of Stardew Valley, can Yoba give me something here? Can Yoba give me a good harvest? Can I pray? Can I sit down and pray? I don't have a fishing rod yet, so I can't really do anything there. This is fine. I'm gonna do good. Ooh, there is a dandelion. 
dandelion. That's great. That's fantastic. I could really make a good old-fashioned stew out of this. I feel like dandelions are edible. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm also kind of obsessed with foragers on TikTok. Like, I would never do that, but I love watching it. I enjoy being there. I can say like, oh, I can eat that. The thing is with me, the thing I know is that I would absolutely eat something poisonous because I thought that it was correct. Look at Hat Mouse's vacant little area. That makes me so sad. That makes me devastated. I feel like I need to go. I need to leave. I need to like kneel down in front of his shrine and pray for him to come back. I miss this man. I miss his little face. He's so special and important to me. I love him. I feel very connected to Hat Mouse in a way that you will never understand. Oh, my inventory is, oh, it's full. Oh, right. Yeah, this is early game Stardew Valley. I forgot. That's something that I really should have thought about a little more. Um, that's terrifying. That's awful. I did a perfection run Run recently, which is why I'm giving myself the strength to do this right now, but I did a perfection run, so now I'm used to everything being like at least fairly easy. You know, I had a horse, I had a horse flute, which was the nicest item I've ever had in Stardew Valley. It is so great. And I had like the pass, the key to the city, is that what it's called? I think so. I had all of Key's stuff unlocked. I did it. And I miss it a little bit, I won't lie to you. I think this is torture. I can't believe I played like this. I really must have had something in me when I first picked up this game to get through it for the first time. Like I was hyper fixated, I was obsessed, concerning to me. Because nowadays, oh, okay. Well, nowadays, like, if I don't get into a game in the first 20 minutes, my attention span is so low that I simply fade away, that I simply leave. I'm really excited for the new update, though, and for Haunted Chocolatier. My god, Haunted Chocolatier, my beloved. I have never been so excited for a game. Also, if you want, Atmos, Atmos Fierce, who is an amazing drag creator and also a Stardew creator, has a petition for Stardew to add pronouns, which, you know, if you're still here and you're like, wait, did they say pronouns? Hi, welcome to my channel. You're free to leave. 470 gold. Nice. That's not a good amount. That's not great. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's see. What's my luck like? The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Is he gonna be dead when I walk out there? Is there gonna be a body on my porch? Please, please tell me there will be. I'm so tired already. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Suck my dick. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Thank you, Willie. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You want to know a fun fact if you've been here for a while? The first video that I ever posted on this channel was a Stardew video, and I had a whole series going, and I deleted them all. But it was my first ever video, so I'm like returning to my roots in a weird way, you know? I didn't have a capture card, so I was just recording in OBS. This is my Switch that I'm playing on, because I am a Switch purist, unfortunately. It's weird. It's weird, because I feel like this is always what I've been doing in some weird way, but now I have to lose. You know, this is returning to your roots, but in a bad, terrible way, in a nasty way, in a gross, disgusting way. You know, my roots have rotted. This is the rotten nightmare version of a plant. I don't know what I'm saying either, by the way. I don't. 670 gold is like not bad. I could get something with that. I could get another coffee, which I need to drink for myself, by the way. I can't believe I'm sharing coffee with this man. Like that is the worst favorite gift because coffee is so useful. I just want to suck that shit down the second I see it, okay? I can drink even the most putrid of coffee. Like, I can drink gasoline tasting coffee as long as it has some caffeine in it. Like, I could get things done. I really could. I could get things done with a single cup of gasoline flavored coffee. And yet, I kind of feel like Gus's coffee would be fantastic. I feel like it would kind of be the most delicious thing you've ever tasted in your life. You know, like a tavern coffee. Ever since I started playing D&D with my friends, I've just been thinking about tavern coffee. You know, I kind of want to sit in a little fort and just sip away. Oh shit, the willy cutscene. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm not skipping through the days because I am doing this, but it's fine. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I want a little tiny pixelated cigarette. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be nice? Have you ever thought about smoking a tiny pixelated cigarette with your lover on the beach? I have multiple times. I think about it every day. I think the world would be so much better if I was able to do that. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Thank you. Look at him. That's my father. He raised me. He raised me. When he saw me come out of the womb, he said, that one's mine. That is my beloved purple-haired child, which is the same thing that Pierre did, except it wasn't true. Look at his little hat. Look at him. That's my grandpa. And also my father. He's both of them. Oh, wait. No, he's- ew. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old poppy used to say anyway. He is my best friend. He's my
my father, he's my grandfather, and he's my best friend, okay? Get it right, get it straight. Put it in the tier maker, rank him. Do you think he's most grandpa, father, or best friend? I love him, I don't know, he's special to me. He's special to me. I feel like we could really have a grand old time out on the seas. I kind of want to explore with him, you know? Oh, oh, we've been blessed, thank God. Inventory full. What if I just died? What if I just fucking lost my mind? What if I went insane? What if I went purely Joker style crazy? How about that? What if I ransacked Pierre's store and left him for dead? What about it? What would you do? Nothing? That's right. Exactly. Can you open up shop, please? I need to come sell this stuff so I can get my shit going, so I can have enough money to pay for the wedding that I'm gonna have to the worst man on this earth. Don't worry, Pierre, it's not you. Pierre, Lewis, and Harvey are just, like, not beating the worst man ever allegations, I won't lie to you. You know, it's like I can't stomach any of these people, except for Haley. But you know what I can stomach? The thought of just being away from the world. I say that, and then I would rot on a farm. I would do the most horrible, horrible job at maintaining a farm. I just feel like my knees would give out, you know? I'm not really equipped as a lanky, tall person to farm. I'd bend over and I'd make a ka-chunk sound like a stapler, and that would be it for me. Oh my god, this tiny inventory is gonna kill me. Stardew Valley is only for the strongest of souls, I think. I think Stardew Valley is not for the weak, you know? I was a different person in 2021 when I first played this, okay? I had not been through the same terrifying existence that I have been through now. Look at all the money I have. I have 872 gold just from foraging, okay? Didn't even sell a single crop, and I am winning, and I'm winning the game already. Tell me somebody who has made more money than me right now. Don't tell me that. Everybody, every single person on this earth, but you know what? I love being happy, and I love making my life easier, so I am going to even though I'm not at all in the slightest. What am I doing here? This is the worst idea. Thank you for the trial of I when I was streaming Stardew on a different save file, I found an ancient seed in winter of year one, which is deeply insane to me. Like, I never do that. I never do shit like that. I could donate these to the museum. I really could. But I'm kind of thinking, why would I do that? Why would I give this save file the attention? You know? Come on. The saloon isn't even open yet. I can't even give this man his coffee. I can't even do what I came here to do. Hi, Robin. Not Maru doing his dirty work. I am so sorry, baby girl. I am so terribly sorry. Have you considered going to Zuzu City and starting a new life because I feel like you're just too smart and too beautiful to be here. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've been looking forward to meeting you and I am so sorry that you have to live like this, but she looks so cute in her little outfit, doesn't she? I kind of love her. I kind of love her a little bit. I do. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. I'm marrying your stupid boss. Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You're young though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. Ugh. 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 How old is my character supposed to be? I want to know, actually. How old is this man, by the way? I'm a little concerned. Are we talking like Leonardo DiCaprio, you know? For girls only. Psst. I need catfish. You know what it's for. Keep it a secret, okay? Okay. Yeah, I will, Haley. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. What do you mean the rickety old bed? Was he fucking in there? Was he fucking and sucking in there? And it was, was it you? I'm curious, was it you? Are you only dating Marnie now because you have to? Were you and my grandfather in a relationship? I'm just curious. Gus, come here, please. I'm really sorry to subject you to this. I love you, buddy. You're a sweetheart. You're a sweet little guy, and I love you dearly, and I'm so sorry. Look at him, his coffee, his delicious taste tavern coffee has to go over here. You can't help me, Maru. I'm so sorry. I wish that you could. I desperately wish you could, but I can't be helped at this point. The mental illness has progressed to a terrible state. It's for me. This is my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Great. Yeah. Uh-huh. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Do I have a heart with him yet? Probably not. Maybe? No, I don't. I don't even have a heart with him. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to sleep. How about that? I'm going to sleep. No, I'm not. Where's Haley? Where's the love of my life? Where's the woman of my dreams? I just need to know that she's okay. You know, does she need me to cook her dinner or anything? Does she need me to help her open a jar, perhaps? Because I'd really like to. She's not home. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I can survive without her. I am a full human being and I don't need her. I do not need her. Oh, it's trash. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Is there anyone else I can talk to before I go to bed? Because I feel weird wasting the days, even though that's literally what I came here to do, is waste the days. But you know what? I need to get used to this. Is Haley up here? Oh my god. Oh, she's so special to me. Nice makeup. Or wait, are you even wearing any? I'm bored. Me too. Do you want to go somewhere? <laughs> Listen, I think that we have really good chemistry, and I just need you to help me. 
I just need you to take a break from whatever you're doing and help me because I think we could really be something. I think this world was meant for the two of us. I don't think we can physically be apart. I think the universe is going to come in contact between me and Harvey and break us up. I think that's what's going to happen. I trust in the world to make sure that I don't go down this route, okay? I trust it. Hello, neighbor. We both live outside of town. Does that mean something? Do you want it to? I'm willing at this point. Do you want me to sculpt something? Do you want me to spin you right round on the pottery wheel? Because I will. I'm tired. You guys just have to make the first move, okay? Like somebody, please. Let the narrative take me where I need to go. It's like writing when the characters just start acting for themselves, you know? I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but like I feel like sometimes when I'm writing, the characters just have to do something, you know? Like it's not my choice. I would much rather they do something else. But I feel like that happens and I would really like that to happen right now. You know, this is my character. Can you just do something else? Can Marnie come with my damn dog too? Please, I'm asking. Can Marnie come? I need somebody to keep me company, you know? I don't want to subject a dog to this, but I have to because I feel lonely on this earth. I feel like I will never survive another day without a dog. When I tell you the first time I played this game, I could not find Robin's axe. I genuinely couldn't, and I know it's somewhere over here. I sobbed, I wailed, I went on the wiki and I prayed for answers, and it showed me, and I was still an idiot, and I couldn't find it. They were like, here's a patch of the map where it is. You can see very clearly. And I was like, I, I don't see it. I don't know what you want from me. It was right there. I need you to understand it was right there. It was not even hidden. It's not. It doesn't look like an axe in my defense though. I feel like it just looks odd. It just looks odd off-putting. But you know what? That's okay. A lot of the food items don't look like anything in Stardew Valley, so that's okay. I will give Concerned Ape a pass on literally everything because you know what? I could never do this. I could never sit down and make a game. I abandon projects almost instantly. It's really bad. It's not good. I love sitting down and saying, hey, I'm gonna make this and then not making it. That's a really fun activity for me and I enjoy it in the most literal sense. I think it's beautiful. I think it's stunning. Is there anything over here that I could forage? I feel like I'm not gonna make very much money from those artifacts. This is really me like not min maxing. This is me minning. There is a child screaming with every ounce of breath inside of them right now, and I need you to understand that's me. If you even care, if you even care, that's me screaming outside. Hi, Sebastian. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, unfortunately, I know. I understand, there's some weird characters around here. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Please, I don't need to talk to more people. I don't, even though I'm doing this willingly and I'm forcing myself to take this on. That's fine, you know, that's not my fault. Nothing I do is actually my fault and it never has been. And I'm not responsible for anything. And the words that come out of my mouth? Didn't even say them. Never did. You're lying. I'm gaslighting everybody into thinking I've never said a word in my life. What you just heard was not even me speaking. It was me telepathically talking to you. Okay? You're crazy. You're insane. I love how gaslighting as a term has just been like morphed into people using it as the word lying. Like they're just like, yeah, she gaslit me. Like, no, she just lied to you. <laughs> I swear, I promise, you were just lied to. It was not gaslighting. Like, gaslighting is a term for a very specific thing, and everybody's like, just got gaslit. It's like, okay, no, you didn't, but nice try. I'm glad that you are trying to learn new words and that your vocabulary is expanding, um, but that's not gaslighting. Gaslighting is full-on manipulation, but you know what? I am gaslighting you right now. You can understand, right? Level one foraging, hooray. How cool is that? How nifty, how neat. My battery on my computer is running out so quickly, and I feel like if I plug it in, I am going to overheat my computer. So, you know, we'll see how long it survives. Let's see how long the world keeps turning before I can stop it. Oh, it's raining, right. It's the third day. It always rains on the third day. I should know this. At least I don't have to water my plants. At least I'm not having to deal with my crops right now because that's not really what I want to be doing at this point. I don't want to be doing any of this, but you know what? I get to complain because it's part of my blood. It's part of my nature. And there has been a special place reserved for me in the world so that I can complain. Whenever I want to, I am allowed to. I have nothing to do now that I've given him two gifts, but I do need to rack up some money so that I can afford to continue gifting him and I also need to talk to him for maximum heart points. <sighs> Do you ever wonder why that original fish decided to come out of the ocean? Do you ever wonder that, you know? Like, what was so good about being out of the ocean? What was so nifty about that? Why did we have to do that? I wouldn't have done that. Listen, if I remembered my birth, I would have went back in. Hmm, this weather makes me thirsty. Right, thank you, Shane. That's nice. That's really cool. That's neat. Ooh, a largemouth bass. Okay, oh. That's community center shit, I think, which is nice if I were doing the community center. But, um, 
I'm not, so. I do want to eventually do like a full-on Stardew series where I do the community center, but that's not today. That is not today. I refuse. I think that there are better things for me to be doing, and I think that this is one of them. I think that this is one of the best possible things I could do because it allows me to be a bitch for 40 minutes, and I like that. I enjoy that personally. I think it's fun. I think it's a good idea. My cat is currently going ham on a toy in the background, and I'm wondering if the crinkling is going to make it into the final cut of this video, and I'm going to have to, you know, delete the entire next half of the video and skip to another day, so hopefully Hopefully I don't have to do that. I just can't bear to take it away from her. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and be like, not now, sweetie. Your parents playing Stardew Valley for an audience of three people, okay? Like, that would be the worst thing on this earth. But you know what? She is munching. She's chomping. She's really going through a chomping phase right now. And I wish I could be too. I wish I could just be chewing on some shit, to be honest with you. I would love it. I would writhe around and I would chew constantly if I could. Because that just sounds like the perfect day to me. That just sounds like the perfect fucking day to me. <laughs> I can't do this tiny ass inventory anymore. I can't. This is sickening. This is twisted. This is disgusting. This world is fickle and a vile beast and I hate it here. I hate everything about it. Honestly, you know what? You know, it's been so much fun lately. I've been getting back into like my poetry writing era, which is great because I don't write a bunch of poetry unless I'm like in a poetry mood and then I write a ton and then I forget about it. But it's my favorite form of writing. I mean, I love like long form stories, but poetry is so fun and poetry is so fluid. It's so simple to get into and I I love that and I think it's great and it's fantastic but also I would like to get back to like actually working please that would be really great imagine if I could get things done instead of writing poetry that would be cool but it's good for the soul I guess I don't know I say that like I have things that are good for my soul I just do shit you know fuck it we ball hello hi look at that flu sign wow remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze then make sure to wash your hands so you guys, let me get this straight, okay? Let me get this straight in front of you guys as a team. You guys who were into Harvey, you saw that dialogue. You saw the sneeze dialogue. And you said, oh my, oh me, oh my, that's the man for me. Like, I'm just wondering your thought process here. I'm not even making fun of you right now. I'm just curious. I'd like you to explain to me in the comments. If you stayed this long for some reason, please explain. What am I going to do today? probably nothing. Yeah, okay, Sebastian, have fun. You know what? I understand you. I understand what you're doing, but at the same time, you know, can we get on, like, the same term right now? I am like you. I'm very similar to you, but you don't have to, like, put on the sulky persona. It's, like, it's very clear by the way that you exist that you are also an emo bitch. Like, you don't have to act like that. You don't have to put on the emo character vibes. We can just be. We can just be friends. Have you ever thought about that, Sebastian? Have you ever thought about just having a friendship, you know? You don't have to put on the mask all the time. We could just do this. We could just be cool buddies and pals. And I think that would be beautiful. Stardew Valley is one of the best games to just come back to, to just like play every once in a while, because I feel like even though you replay it a million times, it's never like restarting your Animal Crossing Island or something. You know, there's always something that you can do differently. There's always something that you can do new. You can go the Jojo route if you wanted to, which I really considered doing, but you know what? I didn't because I decided to be fair and nice and just and just not do anything to help the community. Is she in there? I think she's in there. I think she just doesn't wake up until like 11. Yeah, okay, cool. Hi, Emily. Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Girl boss, look at her. She's making the money. She is making the money. She's pulling the weight, and I love it. And Haley shouldn't lift a finger. The only thing I like about this town is the beach. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. Thank you. I like the beach too. I was just on the beach, but the beach didn't give me anything, so you know what? I feel like I failed my job of beach, which is really unfortunate, but we live, we learn. Why can't I have him? Why can't I save this man? Why can't he be my cow? I'm just wondering, like, I want to talk to him. I never see Marnie out there feeding him. Never. I never see it happen. And you know what? It's a little upsetting. It's a little upsetting to me as a person. I just want to see animals treated well. These cows are my comfort character, and I will be expecting a DM telling me that you have them in boxes, okay? Please. I'm begging you. All right, well, we did everything we have to do today, which is nothing because there's nothing to forage, and this world hates me, so whatever. It's fine. We'll go up here. We'll go to bed, and then we'll skip through another goddamn day. Another terrible day in this town. At least I got to see Haley's face. That's all I asked for, you know. I am the Ken in this situation, I fear. I only have a good day when she looks at me. Look at that. That's a pretty good haul. 210 gold. I don't even get that much normally when I'm doing a playthrough. What's going on? Please, Marnie, be here with my dog. No, when does that happen? When do I get the dog? Do I have to meet everybody first? I don't know. I'll have to Google that later. I don't know anything about this game. I've played it six times. I'll be honest with you. Don't know anything. Maybe I can water my plants. Maybe that's fine. Will Harvey like the plants? Will Harvey like the way I'm watering the plants? Are they healthy enough for them? Is he one of those? You think they're good enough for you? Yeah? 
Do you, Harvey? Great. I feel like I should try fishing, you know, just for fun. Maybe I could let myself live a little bit. Maybe I could have a bit of a good time, you know, all to myself. What do you think about that? Willie would be proud and I have to make him proud. I have to make Willie proud of me because you know what? I do need affirmation. I won't lie to you. I need a little affirmation. Yes, I know there's bubbles over there. I don't care. I love that they don't let you lose the first fish. You know, I want to be coddled like that for the rest of the game. I don't ever want to have to learn to fish. Look at this tiny bar. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is so nasty. Why do you do this? Concerned ape, what did I ever do to you? An anchovy. Perfect. That's so beautiful. Have you ever noticed that the world is so beautiful when you're not looking at Harvey? Have you ever noticed the sand just it creeps up on your feet and you feel warm? Because I have. Because I like to take in my surroundings. I like to have a good time. And I don't know why I make it so hard for myself. Look how shitty I am at fishing. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? There are worse people at fishing. AKA me three years ago, I was a lot worse at fishing. So you know what? I've at least gotten better. Maybe I haven't. Maybe I'm about to lose this fish actually. Yeah. Ask not who the fish struggles for. The fish struggles for thee or whatever that guy said. This is humiliating. Anyway, I'm done fishing actually. I don't really like fishing. Never have. Never claimed to. Never thought I would. You know, fishing just really isn't for me. I think it's inhumane. I don't like it. Where is he? Is he open yet? Is he open yet? Can I come see him yet? Imagine like you were getting courted and the whole time that person just hated you, just despised you. I think that would be interesting. We've got medicine for sale. I'm sure you do, babe. And that's great. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. That's awesome. I love you guys so much. Do you have ketamine? Um, I'm just wondering because I'm kind of going to need it. Nutrition is important, so make sure and eat well. Try to increase your vegetable intake. Ah, uh, so he is one of those people. Home cooked meals are best. Do you cook? What, you want to know if I clean too? You want to know if I'm in my childbearing years, huh? What is it? See, I'm asking the same question. I'm asking the real question for you right now. What? is going on here. Why? What do you mean? I'm just curious. What do you what do you mean? If you're a good person and you enjoy Harvey, please plead your case. I'm asking. This is concerning to me. Please. Just like from a completely unbiased perspective, I can like leave myself for a moment. What's going on here? What's happening? I think the world is such an interesting place, such an interesting, beautiful place at times. At times. I think the world could really be something. I think if we all banded together, there's not a single forageable out here. Fine, I'm gonna sell my single anchovy. What do you think about that? Look, I only have enough to buy like four coffees right now. Not even, not even four coffees. I'm actually making pretty good money for what I need, to be honest with you. I haven't spent a single dime on seeds. I haven't, and I'm never going to. Hi, Jas. Hi. One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. She can't count to five. She cannot count to five. She can't count to four, but she heard it at the beginning of every single song. So she was just like, okay, one, two, three, four, you know? And I really admire her for that, to be honest with you. I think that, that takes a lot of strength because I wish I didn't know how to count. I really do. I'd like to forget math. I'd like to forget numbers. I think I would be a lot happier of a person. There's a world where there are no numbers. And I think about that world daily. I should really just clear this out. This is so terrible. This is so annoying to watch. Look, look, here you go. Here's my anchovy. Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna end this video here and we will continue it soon. We will continue this horrible playthrough. Maybe I won't, maybe I won't. What if I don't? Hmm? What if I stop? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much if you're sticking through me, you know, trying out new content. I really appreciate it. You mean the world to me. And thank you to all of my members. I will see you next time. Goodbye.